Good day. This is our lesson 7 for statistics and probability. Probabilities and percentiles under the normal curve. In our learning competencies for this lesson, convert a normal random variable to a standard normal variable and vice versa. Compute probabilities and percentiles using the standard normal table. Standard score or z-score is the equivalent value or score expressed in terms of the mean and a standard deviation of the distribution. It measures the distance of any particular row score from the mean and standard deviation units. This is from the mean, one standard deviation from the right of the mean, and Decative one standard deviation from the left of the mean. The formula for equivalent standard score or z score is z is equal to rho score minus mean divided by standard deviation. For example, find the area under the normal curve if mean is equal to 59 and x is equal to 64 and standard deviation is equal to 3. So using the formula and finding for the z value, z is equal to rho score, which is 64, minus mean, which is 59, divided by 3, which is the standard deviation. And 64 less 59 is equal to 5, divided by 3 is equal to 1.67. So the value of z is equal to 1.67. Sketching now the graph using a normal curve. So we have here the value of x, which is 1.67, which is equal to rho score of 64. So remember that the mean here is 59. So what we're going to find now is the area between 59 and 64, this area. So to find for that area, we're going now to find the value of 1.67 using the Z table. So first we're going to locate 1.6 on the left side of the table and 0.07 on the upper part of the table. Then get the intersection of 1.6 and 0.7. So we have 0.9525. So therefore, the value of 1.67 is 0.9525. Since we don't need half of the area of the normal curve, so therefore we're going to subtract 0.5 from 90.9525. So that's equal now to 0.4525 or that is 45.25%. So therefore, this area now from 59 to 64 is 45.25%. Number two, in the statistics and probability class, a student gain a score of 46. What is the value of his score if this result has a population mean 45 with a standard deviation of 2? So given in the problem is x is equal to 46 or that is the row score mean is 45 and standard deviation is 2 so using the formula and finding for the z score that is substituting the value of x which is 46 minus mean is 45 divided by standard deviation which is 2 so 46 minus 45 is 1 divided by 2 is equal to 0.5 so the value of z is equal to 0 0.5. Sketching now the graph using a normal curve. So we have here the value of z, which is 0 0.5, which is for equivalent to 46. The rest score is 46. Mean is 45, and every one standard deviation is Two, so therefore 45 plus 2 one standard deviation is 47 and two standard deviation from the mean is 
plus 2 again, so we have 49. For 3 standard deviation, add 2 again, since the standard deviation is 2, so 49 plus 2 is 51. And from the left side of the mean, which is 45, we're going to subtract 2 to get negative 1 standard deviation. So negative 1 standard deviation, 45 minus 2 is 43. And for negative 2 standard deviation, subtract again 2, so we have 41. And negative 3 standard deviation is 39. So therefore, the value of the student's score, which is 46, is z is equal to 0 0.5 number three example the pg company has 100 branches nationwide the annual profit of pg company is normally distributed with a mean of 73 million a year and a standard deviation of 3.25 million how many branches of the company have a profit of 73 to 80 million pesos so given in the problem is the mean, which is 73. We have the standard deviation, which is 3.25. And the value of x here is 80. Using the formula and finding for the z, Substitute the value of x, which is 80, minus mean 73, divided by the standard deviation, which is 3.25. 80 minus 73 is equal to 7, divided by 3.25. So that's equal to 2.15. So using a normal curve, so we have here the value of x, which is 2.15, which is equivalent to 80. Remember that the mean given in the problem is 73 and what we're going to find is the number of branches with a profit of 73 to 80 million since the mean is 73 and the value of x is 80 so what we're going to find now is the area between 73 to 80 so therefore this is the area that we're going to find so to find for the area of 2.15 we're going to use now the z table we're going to locate 2.15 first 2.1 on the left side and 0 0.0 part 5 on the upper part then the intersection point is 0 0.9842 so therefore the value of 2.15 is 0 0.9842 then we're going now to subtract half of a normal curve which is 0 0.5 so 0.9842 less 0 0.5 is equal to 0 0.4842 or that is 48.42 percent so therefore this area now is equal to 48.42 so to answer the problem so we're now going to get 48.42 percent of 100 branches that is 70 uh, that is 48 branches with a profit of 73 to 80 million pesos for number four suppose that 1000 students took a math examination where in the maximum score that they can obtain is 100 their average score is 70 with a standard deviation of nine how many of the students obtain a score or from 70 to 95 so given in the problem we have the average is 70 which is the mean is equal to 70 the standard deviation is equal to 9 and 95 is the value of X so using the formula substitute the value of x which is 95 minus mean 70 divided by the standard deviation 9 95 minus 70 is equal to 25 divided by 9 is equal to 2.78 so the value of z is 2.78 so sketching now the graph using a normal curve so we have this is 2.78 and the mean here is 70 we're in we're going to find the area 
between 70 and the value of 2.78 which is 95. So to find the area, we're going now to use again the Z table and locate 2.78. So we have 2.7 and 0 0.08. So we have the value is 0 0.9973. So the value of Z is equal to 2.78 is 0 0.9973. Again, we're going to subtract half of a normal curve which is equivalent to 0 0.5 so subtract 0 0.5 to 0.9973 that is equal to 0.4973 or that is 49.73 percent since there are 1000 students who took the exam so we're going to get 49.73 percent of 1000 and that is equal to 497. So therefore, there are 497 students who obtain a score from 70 to 95. For number five, what is the area under the normal curve to the right of z is equal to 1.1, or that is z is greater than 1.1? So z is equal to 1.1, so from the normal curve, this is the area of 1.1. That is from the mean, which is 0, and southern division of 1.1. Then find the value of 1.1 using the Z table. So 1.1 is equal to 0.8643, or that is 86.43%. Since we're looking for z is greater than 1.1, so therefore, this is the area of 1.1, which is 86.43%. But we're looking for z is greater than 1.1, so therefore, this is the area that we are looking for on the right side of 1.1. And since the area of a normal curve is 100%, the total area of a normal curve is 100%, so we're going to subtract 86.43% to 100%. And that is 13.57%. So therefore, the area on the right side or Z is greater than 1.1 is 13.57%. Percent. For number six, what is the area under the normal curve to the left of z is equal to 1.1? For this time, we're going to find the area on the left of 1.1, or that is z is less than 1.1 percent. So again, we have here the graph of 1.1 and the volume of 1.1, which is 86.8643. So therefore, the area of Z is equal to 1.1 1 .1 is 0.8643 or 86.43%. And Z is less than 1.1%. So therefore, we're going to find the area on the left side of 1.1. So this is the area on the left side of 1.1. And this is equivalent to 86.43%. For number 7, find the 86 percentile of the normal curve. So we have here P sub 86 or the 86 percentile is the same as 86 percent, which also the same as 0.86. So sketching now the normal curve of 86 percent. So this is the 86 percent under the normal curve. So what we're going to find now is find the value of Z. So to find that we're going to locate from the Z table, the value of 0 0.86, 0 0.86 is between 0 0.8599 and 0 0.8621. And 0 0.8599 is located at 1.0 and 1.08. And 0 0.08, so therefore 1.08 is equal to 0 0.8599. And 0 0.8621 is located at 1.0 and 
0 0.09. So therefore, 1.09 is point is equal to 0.8621. So therefore, 1.08 is equal to 0.8599, or that is 85.99 percent. And 1.09 is equivalent to 0.8621, or that is equivalent to 86.21 percent. Since we're looking for the 86th percentile or 86 percent, 86 percent is nearest, nearest or closer to 85.99 percent. We're in the Z value of 85.99 percent is 1.6, 1 1.08. So therefore, the 86 percentile is equivalent to Z value, which is equal to 1.08. For number 8, find the 32nd percentile of the normal curve. So given is P sub 32 or the 32nd percentile, which is also equivalent to 32% or that is equal to 0.32. So again, we're going to find from the Z table the value of 0 0.32. 0 0.32 is between 0.3228 and 0.3192 wherein 0.3228 is located at negative 0 0.4 and 0 0.06 and 0.3192 is located at negative 0 0.4 and 0 0.07 so therefore negative 0 0.46 is equivalent to 0.3228 or that is 32.28% and negative 0.47 is equivalent to 0 0.3192 or that is 31.92% sketching now the graph using a normal curve so we have here the value of 32% or the area of 32% which is closer to 31.92%. So therefore, the value of Z is negative 0 0.47. The Z value is equal to negative 0 0.47, which is the 32nd percentile. So for your activity, you're going to find the area under the normal curve bounded by the given of the following. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then you're going to sketch each given. So one graph for every number. And for activity 2, analyze and sketch the graph and solve the following problems completely. So we have two problems given. For number 3, solve for the percentile of the following numbers, then sketch its graph. So we have two problems for this. So again, before we end, let me share this from COVID Consultative Group. So we have the Let's Educate Ourselves Once Again, titled Let's Educate Ourselves Once Again, which is the alphabet of COVID-19. We're in A, according to CCG, is avoid crowd, and C is clean your hands. Then, H is hand sanitizing, I is inside the home, and N is no handshakes, P is practice your fashion, then S is social distancing, U is use, mark, use mask, and Z is zero face touching. Again, this is teacher Riza always saying, Please keep safe. So stay at home and stay healthy. So thank you once again. Have a nice day.